Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining me tonight in this x lights news release. What's going on? Hey guys. Um I'm rather excited tonight because I actually was enjoying Easter dinner and uh, I saw that the new X Lights release came out and there is something right there, brand new, that was just added into X Lights not an hour and a half ago. Oh boy, I'm so excited I got the microphone all goofy here. But anyway, what I want to do is I want to walk through the brand new guitar effect. That's right, the brand new guitar effect. I'm going to make me a little bit smaller and let's go ahead and get started. Here, there we go. So what we got here is we've got a brand new effect called the guitar effect. And what are we going to do with this effect? We're going to do a guitar, I think. I, I, I really don't know a whole lot about it. But since it's so new, I figured this is so fresh, we got to get this out there. So let's do some playing around with X lights and the new guitar effect. There's also some other interesting things coming up after this I'll tell you about here in a second. Um, but first, let's go ahead and uh, come down here and we look at the guitar effect. Whenever you uh, click on it, it's located right here, right beside Gladiator and right uh, before the Kaleidoscope effect. So if you're familiar with those, it'll be easy for you to find the little guitar icon and the new guitar effect. When we select it, we can look and see we have a type drop down. We have three different types. It looks like the guitar, the uh, bass guitar, and a banjo. So those are the three different types that will uh, be available to show. Uh, then we have uh, a track drop down. So I imagine that's timing track, and we'll get into that. Uh, and then we have string appearance, where we turn the strings on or we show a wave. So that should be interesting to play around with. Next, we have a fret count. Now, if you're familiar with playing it, the guitar, uh, I'm, I think I'm. Uh, do I play it left hand? I don't know. Anyway, I know I put my hand over here and I play with the, my right hand up here and yeah. Anyway, uh, the frets are over here and the frets allow you to change keys, move between octaves and so forth uh, easily. And uh, so I have I have some idea what a fret is, but do I know what this does just yet? Eh, not not yet, but we'll learn. That's that's how we use X. That's how we figure out X lights. We play with it. We work with it. This is what sequencing is. So uh, next, you have uh, a couple checkboxes here. You have the fade checkbox, the collapse checkbox, and the show strings checkbox. So with that, we're going to get started. And I have. Hopefully, you can hear this. Yes, I'm pretty sure you can hear that. Um, what what you're hearing is a just a basic. Uh, background music track that I made a couple years ago. Uh, I don't have to worry about getting any strikes from YouTube because I use signed music or, you know, frozen, let it go or whatever. Oh, am I allowed to say that? Um, but anyway, uh, this will give us a good example of how the guitar effect works. So what we'll start with first is we're going to jump in and we're going to right click over top of our timing marks here where it says new timing and we're going to add a new timing. Now the timing that we're going to add and you better have your Audacity Vampire plugins uh, already added in X-Lights and if you don't come back here see this Queen Mary Queen Mary vamp plugin you need to go in and install this right here and you'll get this whole giant list of, uh, of, of different timings that are available to uh, uh, add into your X-Lite sequencing but the one we're looking for specifically this is called polyphonic transcription uh, I'll go ahead and click this. It's going to take a little bit of, of time, but what polyphonic transcription is, we're just going to use the basic default settings. I'm not changing anything. I'm leaving it alone. I'm just going to click OK. And what polyphonics is, you can look this up, uh, polyphonics is at any given point in a song, there are certain notes playing. And what polyphonics will do is it will transcribe or extract exactly what notes are being played at any one given time and it will list those for you. And so is that particularly helpful for us in X-Lights? Well, it can be. It's the same basis we have for creating the piano effect and using the piano effect. Um, but now we're gonna utilize this in along with the guitar effect. And so let's go ahead and just zoom in here and see what this polyphonic uh, transcription uh, shows us now. So I don't believe that it used to do this, 
So I think there's been an enhancement somewhere along the line. But polyphonics has uh, historically been set up in insofar as that I remember, uh, it was it was just a bunch of timing marks to and from. Uh, but somewhere along the line, you were able to take the polyphonics, right click it, and convert it to a note track. And um, I don't see that option available anymore. So I think what the X Lights uh, crew has done, I think maybe Keith has gone in and done this, which is gotten rid of the convert to uh, uh, convert to note track, um, or maybe it's, maybe this is it. Import notes. But what it would do is it would take that um, it would take that uh, uh, polyphonic transcription and convert it into a note track, and then that note track is what you would assign your piano. Uh, uh, your piano effect to uh, to read off of, but I have a feeling we're going to use this for the guitars uh, as it is. So I'm going to uh, dis uh, deselect uh, dis select deselect uh, and and select the new timing. And I'm just going to throw a timing mark down here so I can grab the guitar effect. Oh, let's uh, let's go over to um, uh, let's go down to the matrix. So that's what we want. So we want to go to the matrix, and we'll throw it on the matrix. I, and I'll tell you why we're going to throw it on the matrix because the matrix will kind of um, give us an idea of what it looks like as a whole. So it may be different for different models and different groups and stuff. That it's something we, we, we're not going to get into. But we just want to play with it. We want to get it to do something. We want to see what kind of interesting things it does. So with that, we have the guitar type. Um, we have guitar and we have uh, the bass guitar and we have the banjo. Let's start with the guitar. Let's just get it to do something because it's not doing anything right now. We'll change the track to polyphonic transcription. Now look at that. Now it's starting to do something. Boop, 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 boop. And we have a string appearance set to on or it can be a wave. Uh, let's look at wave. What does wave do? Ah, so it does something interesting there. Um, it's going in and uh, uh, it's going in and let me tighten this up here. It keeps falling. Um, it's going in and it's making this little kind of a, a plink type effect. And so it looks like a wave on the string. Um, let's go ahead and change this from wave to on. So you can see whenever it's on, it's on. And what if, what if we come up here and we change this to bass guitar? And we change this to wave. I have a feeling it's going to look just kind of like that. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Um, if we go ahead and mess around with the frets, does that do anything? Not sure. Maybe it makes it shorter, longer. Not exactly sure. Something we'll have to play with. This is what happens whenever you have a new effect and we don't have anything out on it just yet. Maybe Keith is going to demo this at the Florida Mega Mini coming up this week which is where ppd is going to be just so you know um so let's go ahead and keep going through we got uh the the banjo we can try the banjo here let's give it an on effect and it looks like it's doing something i've got a way to play with this so that we can see it all but there's the banjo there is the bass guitar and there is the guitar and now that we have those in in there let's go ahead and add this fade in so it looks like fade does a, a normal fade like it's on and, and it plucks and it goes away and disappears. Uh, let's turn that off. Let's go to collapse. And it looks like it's on and then it squeezes together. That's rather interesting as well. Uh, let's go ahead and show strings. So these, this is your guitar strings. You have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six strings on your guitar. If, well, if you, have a, if you have a bass guitar, you have less, I think. Yeah, you have like four. So um, that's something interesting for you to look at as well. Um, banjo. Banjo has one, two, three, four, five strings. So that's what that, that there's why we need the, the types of the string types, because different, uh, uh, different uh, stringed instruments have different string counts. So that would make sense why you would need to uh, have those different uh, types. So can we combine these? Can we collapse? Uh, we can show collapse on the string. There we go. Yep. And it looks like we've got some color uh, enactments here. So you can have different colors going on with your strings. So if you only have one color selected, it's going to be one color. If you have two colors selected, it's going to go one, the first color, second color, then go back to the first color, and it's going to repeat them because that's what it was doing in the past. Um, 
whether that was intended or not. Uh, that's how it works. Uh, and then, so you have up to six colors for your strings if you have a guitar. So there's your six different colors for your strings for your guitars. So uh, I imagine you can set it up however you want. Um, maybe that silver color would, would look good for you. I don't know. That's up to you. Uh, and what? let's combine them all. We put the fade in there. So now you've got the fade. Um, well, that's rather interesting. And let's go ahead and give the string appearance a little bit of a chance to play here. So there's your string. There's your string appearance. And it, it looks like... It looks like if we let's let's try moving this down and see if that affects anything. And it looks like if we zoom in here, let's try zooming in because what when you look at a polyphonic transcription uh, note line, you'll see an E4 that says a B1. So uh, what 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 you're seeing is a B1 is uh, the uh, the the B note on the first. Uh, the lowest side of the the lowest side a low B, um, at least I think so. Uh, an E four would be closer to the middle in MIDI, uh, the middle of like let's say your piano key, the middle of the tone, like a tenor tenor or a baritone would sing that. I think baritone would, would sing that. Uh, the higher the number six five and so forth those numbers the higher the numbers are those are the higher pitched and those would uh mean it's in the upper register so the higher side the piano keys up here on the right the you know so uh th that's kind of how uh where it's reading so i have a feeling that it's telling it to read if it's the if it's a lower note it's a longer string so it's a it play it, it it's a it's a it's not as high pitched as a low pitched so if we go with a higher number, I don't know, um, it's filling in a lot more of the line. Uh, I don't, I, I don't know. Again, I'm just playing. It looks like it's taking smaller lines. So possibly that's what it's doing. Again, we're just playing around. We don't know. I, 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 I was just damned excited to get this out there. Um, so let's do this. We've got a way to kind of play with, uh, the, and if you're if you're going to be at the Florida Mega Mini, this this kind of a extra kick for you guys. I'm going to right click here, and I am going to edit the buffer. I'm going to do it into thirds, and I'm going to do the left third, and I'm going to come in here. Let's add some layers. Boom, boom, boom. There's a couple layers, and I'm going to uh, cop. I'm going to pull the guitar down here, and now I'm going to come down here and change this to thirds from left third to middle third so there's the middle third and then I am going to do the same thing and I'm going to do right click thirds right third okay now this is this is why we're doing this because we have three different types of guitars I've taken the buffer and I've split the buffer into threes so you can see all three of them the left one's gonna be the guitar the middle one is going to be the bass guitar and the right one is going to be the banjo. So, you can see there's six, six, um, six uh, strings, four strings, and three strings. So, what does this do? If we play it... Well, I think that's actually really cool because... Now, if I deselect the timing tracks, maybe you don't know this, you can click and drag and the box will arbitrarily select the area that you're, uh, uh, it's called lassoing, you can lasso an area. I'm grabbing a hold of this, holding the shift key down on my keyboard, and I'm going to extend this out. Actually, I can do shift, control, and arrow to the right. And if you zoom out, that just extended it the entire length of the uh, MP3. So now you have basically the entire MP3 here. Um, did you know that we can also manipulate the buffer in another way? We can edit the buffer like this, and we can take the top and move it down to, like, let's change from the top down from 100% to 50%. And now you see how the buffer is a little bit smaller there. Let's do that with all of them. Edit the buffer, 50, OK. Edit the buffer, 50, OK. So there you go. So now I'll zoom in. It's a little bit more compact. It's a little closer together. So, so I think that's rather interesting. If we go ahead and play that, this is going to be a lot of fun to play with if you do take the time to sit there and say, hey, what if I actually had a guitar 
that I could go in and put in the background and have this string playing in the middle of the guitar. Or maybe it's a violin or something. So what if we did that real quick? Hold on a second. All right, we're going to fumble around with this because I think this is going to be a little bit of fun. And maybe you'll learn something while I fumble around with it because I haven't tried this before. In fact, I just paused the video while I was recording to do this. So let's go grab the picture effect because I really want to see what a guitar looks like whenever you use the guitar effect with the guitar behind it. Um, let's go find the picture effect, which is right here. We'll drop it down. Now, if you don't know this again, shift, control, arrow to the right. Highlight the left side, shift, control, arrow to the left, and that's in Windows. Uh, I'm going to go browse for, uh, let's see, my guitar image that I just created. And I am going to, I'm going to scale down. I want to, I want to scale down. So I want to be unscale. Let's try this. Now, start positions. Let's over here. There we go. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Reset. Okay. So, we need this whole thing. Let's do this. Because using the buffer is important for this. We need to this. Center right where we have that. Uh, last space in the middle. Let's see if I can do that. Um, and it's going to be this bigger. 50 plus 60. 60. So that should be about the size. Let's go back to start position. I'll kind of do this corrected and try to look around there. And now let's go back to start center screen. Let's manually wrap this change just like our choice. Look at that. Just line it up with the rest of them. Let's see. Let me show you how to do this. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Okay. Now we got to turn these all white because that's what's there. Right. So let's go ahead and pull this out here where you can see it. And this is, this is pretty cool to have this all kind of set up ahead of time here. But I thought this would be great. Let, line that up with the strings maybe a little better. Look, I think we can. I think we can line those up with the strings a little better. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. That's so cool. All right. Let's see. That should do. That should do. Let's go ahead and play play this as the guitar well I think that's about <laughs> I think that's really 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 interesting just to be able to sit and play with that um, and be able to sit there and see the guitar, even if we even if we zoom out. I mean, it, it, whoop, reset. Uh oh, where'd it go? There we go. Uh, even if even if we're just kind of uh, messing around and having a little bit of fun trying to figure out how it works, I think this is going to be an interesting effect to really play with. It, this really gives you a lot more uh, uh, specific control uh, on using uh, the guitar, adding it in. Um, you, you can bring it a little bit more to life, uh, definitely on screen and having the ability to do that without having to do like a, a, a huge amount of work. Now, if you're like uh, somebody who actually knows how to play the guitar, like really, and knows which string to pluck and everything, you might probably want to go in here and edit these strings so that they pluck exactly at the right times uh, or the right string. Uh, because you might be that uh, very specific about your sequencing, but uh, you certainly can do that. Uh, I mean, it's just it's just a, a track. You double click on it and open it up, and you can edit this this to whatever string you need it to be. And I mean, obviously, a little bit of uh, playing around with it's going to be a little bit of fun and a little bit of work. Um, so that's that's release number one. There's there's a second release, and I'm not going to put it in this video because that's just as cool in and of itself. Well, that's all from me here, Cl guys. It's Clyde here signing off from Pixel Pro Displays. Uh, hope you enjoy this brand new effect. The, the developers are always doing something cool, and uh, it's exciting to see a new effect. It really is. So um, uh, there's more to come. Stay tuned. Get to the Florida Mega Mini. Well, I know it's only this week, and I like two years from now you're going to be at the you're going to see this video and be like, what Florida Mega Mini? But whatever, um, guys, it's me signing off. Have a wonderful evening. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Oh, don't forget to like the video. Check it out. Take care. Bye.